temperatures, clear skies, all the good things that we're looking for as the balloons go up and uh, temperatures this morning. Not bad either. We've got 40s and 50s out the door, very similar to where we woke up to yesterday morning. Bad X in the 40s yet again. Houghton Lake, you're right there as well. And Lapeer at 48. Saginaw and Bay City at 56. Flint at 53. And Alma, not too far from the 40s at 50 degrees on the nose. High temperatures today will gradually build on the values that we saw earlier this week. So another day where we jump maybe one to three degrees later this afternoon. So that puts us squarely in the lower to middle 80s. We've got some 70s again along the lakeshore, but that's nothing new. And the best part about it, all of us get in on the sunshine today and no one has any wet weather concerns. Your humidity does stay low as we've been talking about for the last couple of days as we close out the work week. Maybe just a slight jump tomorrow. I don't think we'll really notice it all that much. Maybe a little bit more than the last couple of days just because the last couple of days has been so low. But the bigger jump comes in on Monday and Tuesday of next week as we get ready to welcome rain back into the picture. And it looks like some chances for that will return as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. First Warren 5 pinpoints out the radar this morning. All dry, high pressure directly overhead yet again today. What we are watching for as we head into the weekend is this cold front off to the north. It will be sinking southward, and I think that could lead to at least a minor speed bump in the forecast as we head into tomorrow. As for today, nothing to worry about. If you head into the balloon launch this morning, should be beautiful. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, and later this afternoon as River Days gets underway, we've got low 80s to mid 80s, eventually falling into the 70s by the end of the night. But let's focus on your hour by hour forecast. We did talk about that speed bump that's on the way. It's not going to happen today. It looks like we're dry all the way through the afternoon and evening with generally mostly sunny skies and then generally clear skies overnight. But it's once we get through the day on Saturday that we start to build the cloud cover as the morning goes on a little bit more in the afternoon. We're not talking about overcast skies or anything like that, but we will build more than we've seen the last couple of days. A few showers might pop up as that cold front sinks off to the south, but notice the coverage here. Pretty isolated. Most areas probably don't see a thing, but there will be some of us who manage to get under one of those showers, possibly a thunderstorm. So don't want you to be surprised. I think we'll start to see those pop up around three, four o'clock in the afternoon. They'll last if they do develop to around sunset before eventually starting to fade into the evening. As we go towards next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, better chances for rain, and I think we see another chance on Thursday as well. And that's actually going to be some good news because some areas already need the rain at this point, and I think we'll need that even more by the time we get to Tuesday of next week. Your forecast today, 83 sunny skies, just absolutely gorgeous. Light northeasterly winds today going into tonight. Overnight lows fall down in the 50s once again. Could be a few 60s too, but a mostly clear windows open kind of night. Your seven day forecast shows you those chances next week. Looks like that will come along with a cool down by Thursday. High temperatures going back to the 70s. But it doesn't look like all day rains on Tuesday through Thursday. So if you have plans, I think we're looking at maybe a few hours of rain in any one spot and then it moves on. We get a nice break and then we do it all over again the next day. Okay, so this weekend looks great. I don't know what else to say other than that. You know, we've been saying that all morning. Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff going on this weekend too. Perfect weather for it. And of course, we always want to look at the bright side of things. So 20% odds for rain tomorrow. We flip that around 80%, you stay dry. The bright side, you mean the sunny side of things, not go. the rain. I yeah, like that see? gorgeous sunrise out there too this morning. That's why you're my partner in crime. I gotcha. TV <laughs>